Well, the Illinois State Police Firearms Services Bureau implementing several changes to its firearm owner identification cards or FOID card program. Terry Craig got some reaction from a couple of local Illinois gun owners about how they feel that these changes could affect them. Terry. Beginning on January 1st, renew FOID cards will not display an expiration date. I don't think it's going to hurt or help the firearms the industry at all because it really doesn't affect purchasing. Mark Sackrider owns Sackey's Firearms in Oblong, Illinois. He says even though there will be different FOID cards in circulation, his shop is equipped to handle it. With the smaller shops, we'll know what the rules are for sure, and we'll be able to implement, implement no matter if you have the older FOID card or the newer FOID card. Derek Rice is a gun owner who says he initially had concerns about the changes, but now believes these changes will benefit gun owners in the long run. Well, at first, it, I was kind of worried about it because I didn't understand it fully. I thought it was going to cause more issues with getting FOID cards, but now that I see what they're doing, I think it'll make it easier in the long run. It'll make it not so difficult for the state to keep up on processing new FOID cards and FOID card renewals. Sackrider hopes that the transition from the old car to new won't delay anyone's chance of owning a gun. Hopefully it will make it easier to get your FOID card so it won't delay your chances of getting a gun. Because right now we have new people that want a gun and they can't buy one because their FOID card's not here yet. Both Sackrider and Rice urge Illinois residents to be patient with the process. Be patient with your FOID card. I wouldn't get frustrated with it. I'd take your time, be patient with it. It sounds like they're trying to make things a little bit more simplistic. Also of note, if a FOID card is renewed and you have a concealed carry permit, it'll be issued as a combined FOID and CCL card.